What is the stupidest thing you have ever heard out of someone's mouth? My roommate in college was the queen of face palms. She had a Brita when we moved in together. A year or so later I was filling it up and casually told her these are cool, but I don't want to have to pay for the filters. Her response was it's not that expensive I still have the one it came with she then walked up and held the reset button. See, it's reset now. She legitimately thought holding the button reset the filter. My brother, 17 at the time, was impressed by actor's dedication of dying for a movie. Must have blown his mind to see the same actor alive and well in a subsequent movie. My bother-in-law plastered baby oil all over his body and sat out in the sun for two hours. I told him he was going to get skin cancer. His response I don't believe in skin cancer. This is the guy who refuses to have a microwave in his house because they are bad for you. After a work accident a co-worker asked me with a very serious face, would my finger grow back? I worked at a bagel shop, and I had a customer come in with a complaint one day, after buying some Nestle chocolate milk from us. So here is how the story goes. We had a guy come in, and accuse us of selling and charging him for two bottles worth of chocolate milk inside of one bottle, when he only wanted one serving. I guess he thought it was a super large or something. We only have one size. And it isn't that big this reasoning for thinking that. On the bottle of chocolate milk it says that a thoughtful serving is half the bottle. So he thought one bottle two bottles of chocolate milk and he only wanted one. I had to explain to this guy that a thoughtful portion was just a recommendation by Nestle that he only drink half the bottle because it's healthier. And it's not that there are two chocolate milk bottles in the one bottle he bought. Then he told us we should be less confusing. And then I had to explain to him that we do not own Nestle and do not have a chocolate milk factory in the back of the shop where we make and produce the chocolate milk. Then he said he no longer wanted it because he is hearing now that it is not fresh. So he tried to get a refund on a half drunk chocolate milk and I had to explain to him that no, we cannot do that. And then he left in a half. I know it sounds unbelievable, but it really is true. People this stupid exist in our world as members of society. At an old job we had balloons in the office left over from a kid's birthday party in the restaurant. A server comes in and says oh balloons. She then picked a balloon up of the ground, opened it, inhaled the air and said hello all excitedly. She then goes oh, why didn't it work? Her face when I explained to her that wasn't helium she had just breathed in. But some dad's breath that had been in the balloon for hours was priceless. Gold isn't a metal because it isn't magnetic while working on an aluminum engine that he fully accepted as metal. Diet Coke turns french fries into instant sugar. You won't see any planes because it's raining. Planes don't fly when it's raining. That's why you can only fly into Ireland 10 days a year. Reminds me of all the times in history we tried to hold revolutions against the English with the help of the French and the Spanish, but they never managed to get their ships docked at our harbors because of the weather. That I'm technically not a twin, because I was born two minutes earlier than my brother instead of exactly at the same time. I really want to hear the author of this statement describe their take on the twin birthing process. On a tour bus in Italy. Tourist kept asking to see Pinocchio's grave tour guide explained he wasn't a real boy. Tourist again said, but where is he buried? He just wasn't understanding. We were in Florence and the guide was sharing stories about Carlo Collodi, Pinocchio's creator. She later shared other hilarious stories about things tourists asked about. How do left-handed people drive? My sister, as she then proceeded to try and drive left-footed. We just changed the steering on the passenger side. That's why you see so much cars like that in the UK. Lots of left-handed people. My uncle once said plastic isn't bad for the environment because it's not like it's not of the earth. Everything in it came from here I responded with same with nooks and he changed the subject. Tampons have asbestos in them to make you bleed more so you need to buy more of them. From a girl at a bar, roughly 2003, 2004, 
I just laughed, and said where'd you hear that? On the internet. As this was the era of chain mls and non-facts floating around online. Not surprisingly, yes, she did read it online. Kansas isn't a real state. Haha. <laughs> it was in the Wizard of Oz in sophomore year of high school I heard this. I'm partially deaf. I've been partially deaf since I was 3 years old, and I've been slowly but surely getting more deaf. I had a manager tell me I needed to work harder to get over my hearing loss. There was genuinely no concept of hearing loss being permanent in some cases, and no amount of working harder would get rid of it. Shouldn't have skipped a day at the gym. Bro do you even lift here? How much do you listen bro? A woman I know adopted a baby from an Eastern European country. Someone who worked in our city's education system said, but when she grows up, how will you understand what she's saying? Something to the effect of mice turn into those big nasty rats when they get older. This person didn't know that mice and rats were different species. What's chicken made out of? My dumbass of an older brother. London is the Paris of New York, said my friend after a few drinks. We never let him forget it. I'd love that on a shirt actually lol. In 7th grade during a science class, where we were talking about volcanoes and the general information as a preview for what was upcoming in the next week this girl who isn't the brightest still isn't and were in high school now said I thought volcanoes weren't real and just were misused in movies like Mlana. For the remaining 15 minutes of class we all started yelling at her, because she thought she was right and we couldn't get it in her head, that they were real, until the teacher gave in and showed her a couple videos pointed out pages in the textbook, and showed her the rocks he found while in Hawaii. Overall not very smart, and she has said countless stupid things, but this one really sticks out, because she argued with a teacher over basic knowledge. One time I had to train a girl at my work. I'm a cashier. At our store we sell cigarettes, but every time you ring one through, it asks for the person's age. Often if the person is very clearly over 25, we don't ask for ID, and just put a random age in there that is above 25. I told her I put January 1st, 1950 she then turns to me, and says so I could put in January 1st 2020. I looked at her, and I'm like no, are you kidding? And once I realized she was not kidding she tried to argue with me. I tried to explain to her how they literally wouldn't even be a year old as this was last year, while it was still 2020, and she got very confused. Common sense isn't so common I guess. Use a specific. I'm from New Mexico, in high school. I was talking with a group of people in my history class about where we were from, when I mentioned I was born and raised in NM. One of the girls she was from Cali I believe, got really excited and asked if she could see my green card. She had never seen one before, but she was positive that people in this state are given a birth certificate along with a green card. Because of the Mexico part, I had to explain that we didn't get green cards. Because New Mexico is a state and not part of Mexico. If you're not circumcised, you're gay. A friend told us all I was never circumcised, so I'm a virgin. Overhearing a conversation on a cruise deck between two people. Look at how many stars there are out there. Yeah, they're actually pretty big too. If one crashed all the way in the water over there, it bet it would splash us over here. I think being cryogenically frozen would be cool because you could see the future. I'd have to bring a space heater or a blanket or something though. I don't like being cold. Star basketball player in my high school health class. My mom told me to lick my teeth regularly to straighten them out. I've spent about 6k and 2.5 years in Invisalign because she was convinced I could literally lick my teeth straight. Anthropology. Isn't that that religion invented by Sir Isaac Newton? The first quote in a notebook I have that is full of uneronic lines by people in my freshman year history class. My very diabetic friend had dangerously high blood sugar levels and was in the emergency room. When she was starting to feel better and expressed that she was hungry, 
the nurse brought her a white bread ham sandwich, banana and juice box. When my friend said I can't eat this, it's literally all sugar the nurse looked her dead in the face and replied I don't know what you people can eat. Do you want an extra juice box? I wouldn't have believed it if I wasn't in the same room. Eater to answer some common questions. The term you people was in reference to people with diabetes when the nurse said it. I don't think she was an orderly. I saw her placing fourths on other patients and correct me if I'm wrong. But the pokey find a vein part is usually left up to the medical professionals. I understand the emergency room doesn't have a magical stock of food for every diet type. But I'm surprised she didn't just tell us that instead of handing a type 1 diabetic a box full of sugar and then offering extra sugar when she was told the patient couldn't eat that. The nurse didn't go near my friend's chart at any point I was by her side the whole time she was there, although we did clearly tell her that my friend was diabetic. If my friend was someone elderly or without full understanding she could have just chowed down and made herself much sicker. That's the problem. Nursing aside, I don't think I'm wrong to assume that most adults, medical professionals or not, understand that diabetes means don't eat sugar. Even if she was an orderly, this is not a hard or foreign concept. It's a common disease that the general public is aware of. My friend had dangerously high blood sugar because her automatic insulin pump was malfunctioning and she didn't notice for hours. Through most of this time she was asleep. When someone came by her house in the morning they realized something was wrong and took her to the hospital. She now has a new pump system and is doing great. This happened in Canada. For what it's worth, this is the same hospital that misplaced my father's body some years earlier when he died in an ambulance en route to them. But that's a story for another day. Either way, I wouldn't call them the most competent. Just the closest to us. I order sliced ham at a grocery store deli and ask if I could have one kilogram of shaved ham and the work said we don't seek kilograms, just grams so I asked for 1000 grams of shaved ham. There was a girl I went to high school with that had a few good ones that left is all flabbergasted. My favorite was in 10th grade meat comes from a factory. It's not made from animals. Once we stopped laughing and explained to her the reality. She immediately declared she wouldn't eat meat anymore. 15 years later, she's still a vegan. And lo and behold, we are beginning to make meat in factories. Way to go. Stassi, you were ahead of the curve. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.